big example of that, Steam. <laughs> mm. And the whole situation with the Steam Flatback, where the Valve developers are like, don't install the Flatback, please. Oh, well, no, and the yet... Flatback is the least problematic. It's the Snap that's a lot worse. The Snap is a lot worse. I'm not saying it's the worst, but the situation with Steam on Flathub needs to be dealt with. They need to remove the check, the, the verified badge from it. Is it verified because on Flathub? What? Wait. It is verified. Oh, no, it's verified it on say... Snap. It's not verified on Flathub. It's verified on Flathub as well. But it's they don't write Valve next to the check mark. They check verified by Flathub. No, it's marked as unverified right now. Oh, they updated it. Okay, so they fixed the issue. They must have updated the issue when they started putting the unverified. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, flag. But before then, because I, uh, in my toolkit, there's an option uh, it's called Game Launchers, where users can select whatever game launchers they want to install. Mm -hmm. I didn't opt for the flatback version of Steam because it had the faulty check mark next to it. Mm -hmm. So I think because of your video and other people's videos, uh, they saw the issue and they uh, rectified it. But I don't know. They had the check mark and people were complaining. Why did it have the check mark when it's not by Valve? I don't even remember Valve talking complained about that. About... Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was someone else. But uh, a lot of people complained about, hey, it's a false positive. We hmm. cannot trust this thing and that. But now that they put the unverified, it's much more clear because even Valve complained about it. Hmm. Valve were like, no. This is not the way of, uh, Steam was meant to be shipped. Do not try. The only official package for Steam, surprisingly enough, is the dev package. Yeah, well, that's they, the, yeah. Because... That's the only official one. Well, they started shipping uh, Linux for Steam not that long before the original Steam machines, and the original Steam machines were Debian-based. Yeah. And also, so, obviously, Ubuntu is Debian-based as well. Yeah, so naturally, it's a DEP package. Mm -hmm. And they do mention in their article on, on Valve's website, they do mention if you want to download Steam, figure out a way to either install it from source or install the DEP package. Those are the uh, only two ways to install Steam. Considering that, considering that the Steam Deck is Arch-based, I really wish they just either got the flat pack dealt with or released an official Arch package. I think that would be the first big project that had an official Arch package. That's another cav uh, thing I don't understand. On, on Arch, you have two packages. You got Steam and mm -hmm. Steam native runtime. Mm -hmm. So which one is to, to be trusted more than which? Uh, what's the... Well, the, the runtime is the runtime, not the actual client. Oh, when you install the native dash runtime, it installs the native client, and it in installs the runtime library. Uh, Steam is optional as a dependency by the looks of it. On Arch, they make it a dependency. Yeah, it's it's marked as uh. Oh, sorry, no, I'm reading it wrong. I know I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> no, okay. Uh, Steam is required by the runtime. Yeah, okay, no, you are right. I'm 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 reading that completely wrong. Yeah. So, if you. Which one do you install? So basically, in my toolkit, I wasn't sure, so I just made my toolkit install Steam, and it works. Yeah, I, no, I have Steam. I never the installed runtime. it. I just install Steam. Yeah, it doesn't. In, it doesn't ask you what runtime do you want, what this, what that. It just installs the the client, and mm -hmm. you're up and running, and you don't need to deal with all that shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Why does the other one exist? So which one will the user trust more? It's weird. It's a weird situation that I don't understand. Well, the native runtime is installing the Steam libraries. Yeah, and it asks you which ones you want for NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, etc., etc., etc. I did. Like, it's been so long since I've installed Steam. Well, I've got it. I installed it like three years ago, and I've never uninstalled it. So, well, uh, here's the situation: when you install just a regular Steam package, mm -hmm. it will install. You launch it. It works. Sure. When you install the native dash runtime, it will ask you which runtimes do you want. You want if, right. if you have an Intel card, you select the Intel one. If you have the AMD card, you select the V 
V V A M D whatever. Right, right, right. If you have NVIDIA, the NVIDIA libraries, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. What's the difference? If I install the regular one, it just works. And if I install the native runtime, it's going to ask me all these questions for a new user. They're not going to know what to answer. I think most people will probably just install Steam and not even think about it. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I opted in, <laughs> what I opted for in my toolkit. Just yeah, I didn't even know there was that distinction because <laughs> I've only ever installed the Steam package itself. Yeah, maybe that's why the, the Valve is like, use the dev or source, fuck everything else. <laughs> Basically. Well, in the case of Steam, there isn't source. There is no source package for it. Well, I get the idea. I'm they just ship a binary. saying. That's it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I'm like, okay, it's like the situation with uh, OBS. Mm -hmm. Either install the flatback or install the dev file. Mm -hmm. but don't install anything. Uh, don't install anything else. Same thing with bottles. <laughs> ship, uh, ship the flap, uh, flatback package. Don't trust anything else. I know there was like we discussion get a of... of maybe doing an app image at some point, but yeah, right now just flat pack. But you notice that this kind of thing is happening over and over and over and over again. Yeah, more... it's getting a lot more common. Yeah, it's becoming a lot more common. So, but yet more confusing for the end user. Sure. Extension. Mm -hmm. Because they now no don't know which package to trust. Some people say trust this. Other people say trust that. They, everybody wants to protect their own package manager, basically. Mm -hmm. I think we need to stop that. And flat and people keep yelling at me, why are you using flat packs? Why are you using snaps? Why are you using this? Why are you using that? I trust what the main developers say. Mm -hmm. They created the package. They know uh, what they are shipping. So if they tell you not to, to use a certain package manager's version, don't use it. Mm -hmm. Because there, there's a lot of streamers, content creators out there that just install OBS from, for example, from the Arch uh, repositories. And they mm -hmm. complain, oh, I don't have that plugin. I have to manually install this. And I have to manually... Did you know that if you install uh, OBS from Flathub, they need, uh, there's only, you, I think, Mint who does that. But mm -hmm. everybody else, they're not doing it. They're not putting the plugins, the Flat hub plugin the flat the, the obs plugins on flat hub on, the, on their gui stores mm -hmm. if you go on the gnome software center you look up look up vs plugins you're not going to see any hmm. you go to pamac manjaro you search up obs plugin you're not going to see any unless they package it from the aur for the native package that's a different story mm. i'm talking about the flat plugins Mm-hmm. <laughs>